What's going on guys? That's Jay here. Little down, still down about it, man. The NF video got blocked. Son of a bitch. That was gonna be a good one. It's on Facebook, but I think it got blocked on Facebook too, so fucking shit, man. Um <laughs> still a little mad about that one. But show must go on, guys, right? By the way though, that new uh NF green light was pretty sick. So this is prison food. Uh I don't ever want to try any of this shit. So hopefully I am even gonna say hopefully this stuff's gonna be all bad and shit. So I, I don't I don't what I see on the table right now doesn't look too fucking good anyway. Half that shit I don't even like. So I better never go to prison. Otherwise I'm gonna be fucking starving and anorexic. So without that said <sighs> prison food guys and on the comments on this video I wanna see if you guys say yes or no that you guys would eat this. Because I'll tell you at the end of the video if I would eat it too. So this is what they got in prison. Let's go. I ate this when I came home, and I still eat it. Maybe I like, get like a prison crate where I have prison in my I apartment, guess. and I'm like, I know what's like really five minutes. Hi, my name is Carlos Monte, and I'm the founder and CEO of Pound Body, and I served a total of six years in prison. But what we're going to be doing is a jail burrito, aka the spread in the West Coast. So you can purchase all this what? in the jail commissary. What we use and get in commissary is Doritos. I eat it. Cheez Its, mm -hmm. some sort of like Slim Jim beef stick, yeah. ramen noodle, cool. ketchup for no. dressing, and mayonnaise. No. And if you want to get really fancy, an uh, onion. The first step is cracking open the Doritos just a little bit so the air can come out. You don't want to crush it super fast because you might puncture a hole and then you crush down the ramen. I am a trainer promote a lot of healthy eating, so this is not the best thing to promote, but this is what we had in prison to eat. The noodles are not that bad for you. It has like seven grams of protein, but this is dangerous. We are only gonna use about a half of it. Mix it all up, then you get the cheese. It's the same thing. This is so good, I still make this at home. Make what? sure you mix everything up, so when it comes out, it comes out pretty even, and then, the beef stick. So you want to peel the skin out of the beef stick. You want to just like pull it out. Voila. And you will just like chop it up in small little bits and pieces. Got the meat in there. And now we're going to start cutting up the onion. In prison, you could get a plastic knife. Some people like work at the mess hall and you steal like plastic utensils from the officers. Or you could use the top of a can. We used to like cut out the tuna cans. And use yeah, and use it for a fucking shiv. I'm putting the Don't onions rub your in eyes. here. Last and final step after that comes the hot water. You want to make sure you pour it slowly and you want to create a little layer of hot water. This is hot. You want to take the noodles that are hard on the top and push it down to the bottom. Take the top of the Doritos bag. You want to make it look like a cake. And then just hold it down and you'll wait. Three minutes. What Combody is and what I created is a prison style boot camp where I lost 70 pounds in six months. I was working out in the yard and then I helped over 20 inmates lose over a thousand pounds combined. And from there I came up with the idea where we Nine could ten. hire formerly incarcerated people to teach our fitness classes when I came home. And now we have our own gym in New York City. Alright, so there's a certain way to open this and the reason why I made it like laid it backwards was because you have like a seam in these Dorito bags where you could just cut through and you know, just open it up just like that. And then you have your own plate and this is voila. At the end you dress it up with a little bit of mayonnaise. Uh, sure, like. Cut your bite up. Nope. No. Eat that shit. So now you can make your own burrito for your friends and family and maybe use what inmates teach you. She's not too sure. It's not that bad, right? No, oh, that's not that bad. It tastes like Taco Bell. That's what it is. Is that right? Yeah. No, it tastes like Taco Bell. <laughs> it's good, right? It's not bad. That's not that bad, actually. Uh, I'll pass and I'll stick with the food and hot wings and shit I got over here in my cupboards. I'm not eating that shit. I'll starve in prison. <laughs> I don't know what you guys want me to say. I mean, shit. I don't know, man. Would you guys eat that shit? That's fuck calling it spread. I call that shit. 
I feel bad now, man. I mean, the chips by itself will heat the... I don't even like Sim Jim beef jerky, so uh, that's not gonna... Pretty much the only thing I'd eat is the chips and uh, the Cheez-Its and the noodles. That's it. I'd eat them all separate. So, whatever. I, I'm not, not gonna do that. Maybe down the line I'll try one of these other ones' recipes and we'll see what happens. But right now, SJ is not, not trying any of that shit. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys will try it. Let me know if there's any recipes out there. Because I'm down to try to make something. As long as it has shit I don't, I, I'd like in it. But I don't like ketchup. I don't like mayonnaise. I like Miracle Whip. I'm half black, guys. Alright, guys. I'm SJ. Like, subscribe. Leave your comment down below if you want me to talk to you again. Snapchat is SnakeJr81. Hit us up on social media, guys. I am there. Get ready for the party. <sighs> Take care. Peace.